Free in Tudanga Nuya, Kiwa, Gisborne, last week. <laughs> question number six, the Honourable Amy Adams. Uh, tēnā koe, My question is to the Minister of Finance. Has he seen the latest NZIER consensus forecasts? If so, can he confirm that the September forecast for GDP has been revised down compared to the June forecast for both the remaining years, uh, remaining full years of the government's term, being the current 2018-19 year and the 2019-20 year? Uh, yes, thank you. Yes, and in addition, the NZIER's consensus forecasts to still show very close to three percent growth over the two-year period. Is the reason his answer to the primary question is seemingly unconcerned about the drop is that he is unconcerned or unaware that these forecasts indicate that the economy will now be $2.2 billion smaller by the end of this government's term than was predicted in this year's budget? Mr Speaker, uh, no. The answer to that question is that I continue to be uh, concerned about working with business and getting a strong relationship and getting the economy growing on a productive and sustainable basis. Is he aware that when this government's policies contribute to reducing the likely size of the economy by $2.2 billion in 2020, that's a loss uh, greater than the entire size of the regional Tairawhiti or West Coast economies? Mr Speaker, uh, the member is at risk of catastrophising here. The economy is still growing. The economy is forecast to grow at around 3%. Unemployment is forecast to come down to around 4 per cent. We're getting on with the job of building an economy fit for the 21st century after a near decade of sitting on the sidelines by the previous government. Is he concerned that the NZIER forecast, consensus forecast have not only further revised GDP growth down over the last quarter, They've now also significantly reduced the forecast government surpluses over the remainder of this term, and they're predicting smaller wage growth. And the only things that they've revised upwards were the cost of living and unemployment. Oh no! In fact, Mr. Speaker, unemployment is forecast to fall to 4.1 per cent over the next four years. Employment growth is forecast to be stronger than in the previous forecast. Wages are forecast to grow by more than three per cent on average over the next two years. Great. Tino Question number seven, the Honourable Todd McLean. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister of Foreign Affairs.